This is number one from the 2022 eighth grade math star test, and I'm gonna be working through every single problem that was on that test. So, number one says, triangle HJK is graphed on the coordinate grid. Triangle HJK will be transformed using the rule XY is transformed to negative X comma Y to create triangle HJK prime. So the only thing that's gonna change is our X value, and that negative sign just means that the x coordinates in each point are going to flip signs. So if I look at my graph, I'm going to look at letter k first, and its x value is 6. So now instead of positive 6, it's going to be negative 6. So I'm going to graph it with the same y value. I'm just changing the x value. I'm going to do the same thing with h. So its x value goes from 2 to negative 2. And then letter j goes from positive 4 to negative 4. Then I connect my dots and I can clearly see that I reflected it across the y-axis. And if I look at my answer choices, you'll see that the answer is letter A. This is number two from the 2022 eighth grade math star test. It says, the diagram shows a right triangle and the lengths of two of its sides in inches. So we have 11.9 inches and 7.9 inches. Which measurement is closest to the value of D in inches? So anytime we have a right triangle, I know that we're gonna be using Pythagorean theorem and they give us both of the legs and we're looking for the hypotenuse which means that whenever we're looking for that missing side, we're gonna be adding. So in my calculator, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my square root bar, and I'm gonna do 7.9 squared plus 11.9 squared, and after I put that into my calculator, I should get an answer of 14.3, and that is letter H. This is number three from the 2022 eighth grade math star test. It says the perimeter of the triangle shown is 17x units, the dimensions of the triangle are given in units. Which equation can be used to find the value of x? So if we're talking about perimeter, I know that we're gonna be adding all three sides up of my triangle. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add up all three sides and set it equal to the perimeter, which is 17x. So I'm gonna have 15 plus 15 plus 7x is equal to 17x. Then I'm gonna combine like terms and get 30 plus 7x is equal to 17x. And if I look at my answer choices, I can see that letter A is a correct answer. This is number four from the 2022 eighth grade math star test. The scatter plot shows the relationship between the weight in pounds and the age in weeks of a certain dog breed. Based on the scatter plot, which is the best prediction of the weight in pounds of a dog that is 28 weeks old? So I'm trying to make a prediction based on the scatter plot. So I'm just going to take what they give us. We know that the dog is 28 weeks old, so I'm gonna to go to the x-axis where 28 should be, and I'm gonna draw a line straight up until I get to about um, where those dots are kind of forming a line. And once I do that, I can go ahead and draw my line to the left. That way I can get a rough estimate of what my prediction should be for the weight in pounds. Whenever I do that, I see that it's about 75, and by looking at my answer choices, um, we actually have exactly 75, which is letter G. This is number five from the 2022 eighth grade math star test. It says Gwen spent $12.50 to purchase five bracelets. Each bracelet costs the same amount. Which graph has a slope that best represents this rate? So the easiest way to do this kind of problem is just to check each graph and see whenever we purchase five items, does it cost $12.50? So for letter A, whenever I go to five bracelets purchased, and go up to 12, I see that that's not a point on the graph. For letter C, whenever I go to five bracelets purchased and go up, there is a point about where uh, $12.50 should be, so I'm thinking that's probably it. For letter B, obviously there's not a point for five bracelets purchased, so that's not gonna be it either. And then for letter D, whenever I go to five bracelets purchased, it's only costing about $2, which is obviously way off, so my answer is gonna have to be letter C.